Hi, I'm Natasha Kiefer. I'm 25 years old. I am a customer service supervisor for a grocery store here in Savannah. Hi, my name is Joel Kiefer. I'm 30 years old and I manage a gas station, um, a local gas station that's uh, here in Savannah. We have about 60 stores and we're saturated in Savannah and Coastal Carolina. It's actually what brought us to Savannah about a year ago from Ohio. Um, since we've moved down here, we've loved it, and our kids love it. We have two kids, August, who's six, and Lennox, who is three, and, <laughs> sorry, um, so we started our house hunt about six months ago. We started online, um, so when we started online, it was really exciting. Um, we kind of just looked broadly in Savannah, so it seemed like there was so much to pick from, and then... Um, really, our number one priority was the schools. We wanted to make sure that the schools were good for our kids. And then that's how we kind of narrowed it down to Whitmarsh Island and Wilmington Island. Um, and then from there, it kind of got a little stressful. There was no houses really to pick from within our price range and with at least three bedrooms. Um, so that uh, made it uh, very hard for us. Um, luckily, we had a, a realtor who was local, and she did a lot of networking for us. Um, but when looking for a house, we each had a few things on our wish list. Um, my number one was a garage or a screen and patio for uh, me time. And I also had a, a larger closet on my wish list uh, in the master, of course. Um, and why would you need a larger closet than what we have now? I live in a two-bedroom apartment right now, and the, the closets are very small. Um, I have to step over <laughs> all of her stuff to get to my little bit of stuff, and it, it's very difficult. So that's definitely on my wish list. Bigger closet. Yes. <laughs> um, my wish list was a fourth bedroom for sure guest room slash whatever room. Um, we have tons of family that comes down and visits us and we I really wanted to give them a space to relax and have some privacy. They were kind of used to sleeping on our couches and on the floors in this tiny two bedroom apartment. So I really wanted to give them a space to relax. <laughs> um, and then another wish list for me was hardwood floors throughout. I'm over carpet. Our kids are messy. All kids are messy, but our kids are really messy. And um, we just need hardwood floors throughout the whole house. I wouldn't be opposed to, you know, carpets in the, in the bedrooms at least. I don't really like to wake up with cold vinyl or hardwood, but um, that's definitely where we differ. Um, I also would like <laughs> A two bedroom, a two two story home, rather than just the ranch style, because we kind of have our privacy upstairs. You know, the bedrooms tucked away, um, and then downstairs is more of an entertaining spot. Um, I also think that two two story homes look better from the curb appeal. Uh, they look bigger. Um, they feel bigger downstairs. This feels like a bigger home. But there's stairs. And I walk in and out of the kids' bedroom and our bedroom multiple times a day. And I do not want to take a hike upstairs to do that. Um, it just does not sound fun. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> I really wouldn't be opposed to a ranch, but I would prefer a two-story, I think. My architectural style preference is ranch, mid-century modern, clean lines, all on one floor, no stairs. No stairs. <laughs> um, so I guess my dream home would be um, a quiet neighborhood, um, two-story home, um, fenced in backyard. Um, I do agree on that. Send our kids outside to play. Nice weather all year round, so that is nice. I agree <laughs> on that. Um, and then we, upstairs, we would have the, the large master closet. Upstairs. Like, you have and to walk upstairs. Okay large master bath <laughs> and um like i said just kind of in a quiet neighborhood and i differ from that as well we have tons of neighbors right now and we're really good friends with all of them and their kids are always running in and out of our house and i love it i 
definitely want that in our next home. I want our neighbors to become friends. I want their kids to, you know, just come right in. And I'm just, you know, I want a loud street. I want lots of kids running around. Um, but then my dream home would be all on one floor, hardwood floor, no carpet, open floor plan. So when I'm cooking or we have people over, it's just everybody can roam around. You can see everybody and um, fenced in backyard. I do agree on that. We can agree on that. <laughs> um, a deal breaker for me was walking into a house and it being dirty. We went through to a, a few houses and they were just really dirty and I just wanted to turn around right away. I just couldn't even see past the dirt and grime and I just, uh, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So one of my big deal breakers was, uh, must be moving ready. Um, I'm, I'm not handy at all. You know, we can do a few little things here and there, <laughs> but to, to completely gut a room or even counters or anything like that, I, I could not do, and um, we don't have the time to do it, number one, or the money. But we can make it our own, and I was open to a fixer-upper. Um, I could walk into a house and see a vision, walls coming down, this here, that there, and I even loved the house so much, I drew up a sketch for Joel and showed it to him, was like, you know, this is what this could be, look, and he still just I didn't just, even see it. I couldn't see it um, so, a little different on deal breakers, too. <laughs> um, that's our video. So, yeah, we ended up with a really great home. Yes. And we're super yeah. excited about it. And I think we meshed both of our wants and likes together pretty well. Yeah, we, we're really happy with the home we decided <laughs> on. And um, we look forward to you know, spending many, many years there. I agree. Thanks. <laughs> Welcome to our tiny two bedroom apartment. As you can see, there is an open floor plan, which I really like, but it's just way too small. Our kitchen is tiny. There is no room to do anything. Vegetables, food prep, there's just not enough room. But I do like that you can see into the living room. I can see the kids playing, I can watch TV, and I do like that. Another thing that we did like was this patio. This was Joel's me space, as he calls it. But I kind of took up half the space with my hammock. That was another thing on my wish list was some trees to hang my hammock in. Um, we do like the size of our bedroom. It suited us pretty well, but this closet is way too small, tiny. Not even going to show you how small it is. There's so much stuff in there, but like I said, this bedroom was a good size for us. Now we will take you to our kid's bedroom. A decent size, but for one kid, not two. So we have our children's room. Can you guys say hi? Hi. A little bit of boy stuff, a little bit of girl stuff, but they are so ready to have their own rooms. They already have plans of what they want it decorated as, so we are ready to give that to them. And thank you guys for roaming our house with us, and we hope you pick us. Bye. <laughs>